In 2020, the United States spent more on defense in a single year, $721 billion, than China spent in an entire decade, 2009 to 2018, approximately $654 billion. Meanwhile, China's defense spending has been growing at an average annual rate of 10% over the past decade, while the United States has seen a more modest growth rate of around 2% per year. This statistic highlights the significant disparity in defense spending between the United States and China, while also underscoring the rapid growth of China's military budget in recent years. This trend has significant implications for the global balance of power and the security dynamics in the Asia-Pacific region. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. China's defense spending has been growing rapidly over the past two decades, with a compound annual growth rate of around 10%. This growth has enabled China to modernize its military and expand its capabilities, including the development of advanced fighter jets, submarines, and surface ships. In 2020, China's defense spending reached an estimated $261 billion, making it the second-largest military spender in the world after the United States. China's military budget is expected to continue growing, with some estimates suggesting it could reach $300 billion by 2025. In contrast, the defense spending of Western countries has been more modest. The United States, which has historically been the world's largest military spender, has seen its defense budget grow at a slower rate in recent years. In 2020, the U.S. defense budget was around $721 billion, which is roughly 3.4% of its GDP. Other Western countries, such as the UK, France, and Germany, have also seen their defense spending grow at slower rates. In 2020, the UK's defense budget was around $59 billion, France's was around $52 billion, and Germany's was around $49 billion. The growing disparity in defense spending between the US and China has significant implications for global security. China's military modernization has enabled it to project power further afield, including in the South China Sea, where it has built a series of artificial islands and established a military presence. The US, on the other hand, has been seeking to maintain its military superiority in the region, with a focus on developing new technologies and capabilities, such as hypersonic missiles and advanced fighter jets. So, what's driving China's rapid military spending growth? Some key factors include 1. Economic growth. China's rapid economic growth has enabled it to allocate more resources to defense spending. 2. National security concerns. China's military modernization is driven by a desire to protect its national security interests, including its territorial claims in the South China Sea. 3. Regional competition. China is seeking to assert its influence in the Asia-Pacific region, where it faces competition from other major powers, including the US, Japan, and India. 4. Technological advancements. China is seeking to develop advanced military technologies, including artificial intelligence, cyber warfare capabilities, and hypersonic missiles. As China's military spending continues to grow, we can expect to see a range of implications for global security, including 1. Increased competition in the Asia-Pacific the U.S. and China are likely to engage in a range of competitions, including military exercises, arms sales, and diplomatic efforts. 2. New technologies and capabilities. China's military modernization will likely lead to the development of new technologies and capabilities, including advanced fighter jets, submarines, and surface ships. 3. Shifts in the global balance of power. China's growing military spending will likely lead to a shift in the global balance of power, with implications for international relations and global governance. Defense technology plays a crucial role in shaping global power dynamics, as it enables countries to project military power, protect their interests, and deter potential threats. The development and deployment of advanced defense technologies have become a key aspect of modern warfare, with significant implications for international relations and global security. 
Western countries, particularly the United States, have historically been at the forefront of defense technology innovation. Their approaches to defense technology are characterized by 1. Research and Development Investments Western countries invest heavily in R&D, with a focus on developing cutting-edge technologies, such as hypersonic missiles, advanced sensors, and cyber warfare capabilities. 2. Private Sector Involvement Western defense industries, such as Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Raytheon, play a significant role in developing and manufacturing advanced defense technologies. 3. Export-Oriented Western countries often export their defense technologies to allies and partners, which helps to promote interoperability and strengthen alliances. 4. Focus on high-end capabilities. Western countries tend to focus on developing high-end capabilities, such as stealth fighters, advanced submarines, and precision-guided munitions. China's approach to defense technology is distinct from that of Western countries, with a focus on 1. Indigenous Innovation China has prioritized indigenous innovation, with a focus on developing its own defense technologies, rather than relying on imports. 2. State-led development China's defense industry is largely state-led, with state-owned enterprises SOs, playing a significant role in developing and manufacturing defense technologies. 3. Asymmetric warfare China has focused on developing asymmetric warfare capabilities, such as anti-access, area denial, A2, AD, systems, cyber warfare, and electronic warfare. 4. Cost-effective solutions China has prioritized cost-effective solutions, often leveraging commercial technologies and adapting them for military use. The Western and Chinese approaches to defense technology are driving competition in several key areas. 1. Hypersonic systems. Both the US and China are developing hypersonic systems, which could revolutionize the nature of warfare. 2. Artificial intelligence and machine learning. The US and China are investing heavily in artificial intelligence and machine learning, with applications in areas such as autonomous systems, cyber warfare, and predictive analytics. 3. Cybersecurity. The US and China are engaged in a cyber arms race, with both countries seeking to develop advanced cyber warfare capabilities. 4. Space-based systems. The US and China are competing in the development of space-based systems, including satellites, launch vehicles, and anti-satellite missiles. The competition in defense technology between Western countries and China has significant implications for global power dynamics. 1. Shifts in the balance of power. The development and deployment of advanced defense technologies can shift the balance of power between nations, influencing regional and global dynamics. 2. New forms of warfare. The emergence of new defense technologies is driving the development of new forms of warfare, such as cyber warfare and space warfare. 3. Alliance dynamics. The competition in defense technology is influencing alliance dynamics, with countries seeking to strengthen their partnerships and interoperability. 4. Global governance. The development and deployment of advanced defense technologies raise questions about global governance, including the need for new norms and regulations to prevent the misuse of these technologies. The relationship between Western nations and China has become increasingly tense in recent years, driven by a range of factors, including 1. Trade tensions. The ongoing trade war between the US and China has created significant economic and diplomatic tensions. 2. Security concerns. Western nations have expressed concerns about China's military expansion, particularly in the South China Sea, and its growing influence in the Asia-Pacific region. 3. Technological competition. The US and China are engaged in a technological arms race, with both countries investing heavily in emerging technologies, such as AI, 5G, and hypersonic systems. 4. Defense strategies. Western nations and China have differing defense strategies, with the US and its allies focusing on a more traditional approach, while China is pursuing a more asymmetric approach, leveraging its economic and technological strengths. Western nations and China have differing defense strategies, which are contributing to tensions. 
The US and its allies are pursuing a more traditional approach to defense, focusing on a. Maintaining a strong military presence in key regions. b. Developing advanced conventional capabilities. c. Strengthening alliances and partnerships. China is pursuing a more asymmetric approach, leveraging its economic and technological strengths to a. Develop advanced unconventional capabilities, such as cyber warfare and electronic warfare. b. Expand its military presence in the Asia-Pacific region. c. Strengthen its relationships with other nations through economic and diplomatic means. The US and China are making significant advancements in key areas of defense technology, including AI, cyber warfare, and military robotics and autonomous systems. AI is a key area of defense technology, with both the US and China making significant advancements. The US Department of Defense has established the Joint Artificial Intelligence Center to accelerate the adoption of AI across the military. The US is investing in AI-powered systems for autonomous vehicles, drones, and cyber warfare, and also exploring the use of AI for predictive analytics and decision-making. China has established the National AI Plan, which aims to make China a global leader in AI by 2030. China is investing heavily in AI-powered systems for autonomous vehicles, drones, and cyber warfare and also exploring the use of AI for predictive analytics and decision-making. Cyber warfare is another key area of defense technology, with both the US and China making significant advancements. The US has established the US Cyber Command to coordinate cyber warfare efforts across the military. The US is investing in advanced cyber warfare tools and techniques, including zero-day exploits and advanced persistent threats, and is also exploring the use of cyber warfare for deterrence and defense. China has established the People's Liberation Army Strategic Support Force to coordinate cyber warfare efforts. China is investing in advanced cyber warfare tools and techniques, including zero-day exploits and advanced persistent threats. Military robotics and autonomous systems are another key area of defense technology, with both the US and China making significant advancements. The US is investing in advanced robotics and autonomous systems for ground, air, and sea operations. The US is exploring the use of autonomous systems for tasks such as logistics, reconnaissance, and combat, and also prioritizing the development of autonomous systems that are transparent and accountable. China is investing in advanced robotics and autonomous systems for ground, air, and sea operations. China is exploring the use of autonomous systems for tasks such as logistics, reconnaissance, and combat, and also prioritizing the development of autonomous systems that can be used for social control and surveillance. A recent event that exemplifies the competition in defense tech is the development of the U.S. Navy's unmanned surface vessel, USV, program. The USV program is a significant innovation in defense technology that showcases the US Navy's commitment to advancing its capabilities in the area of unmanned systems. The US Navy has been investing in unmanned systems for several years, with a focus on developing autonomous vessels that can perform a range of tasks, from surveillance to mine countermeasures. The USV program is a key part of this effort, with the goal of developing a fleet of unmanned surface vessels that can operate independently or in conjunction with manned vessels. The USV program is a major development in defense tech, with several key features that make it a pivotal moment in the competition between the US and China. The USV program is designed to enable autonomous operations, with the vessels able to operate independently for extended periods of time without human intervention. These USVs are equipped with advanced sensors and communication systems, enabling them to gather and transmit large amounts of data in real time. They are designed to be modular, with interchangeable payloads and sensors that can be easily swapped out to adapt to different mission requirements. The USV program is scalable, with the ability to deploy multiple vessels in a coordinated manner to achieve complex mission objectives. The development of the USV program has significant implications for the competition in defense tech. 1. Advantage in unmanned systems. 
The USB program gives the USA significant advantage in the area of unmanned systems, enabling the Navy to operate more effectively and efficiently in a range of environments. 2. Increased Autonomy The USB program demonstrates the US Navy's commitment to advancing autonomy in its systems, enabling the Navy to operate more independently and make more effective use of its resources. 3. Enhanced Situational Awareness the USB program provides the US Navy with enhanced situational awareness, enabling the Navy to gather and analyze large amounts of data in real time to inform its decision making. 4. Competitive Advantage The USB program gives the USA competitive advantage in the area of defense tech, enabling the Navy to operate more effectively and efficiently than its competitors. China has responded to the USV program by accelerating its own development of unmanned systems, including the development of its own USV program. China's USV program is focused on developing vessels that can operate in a range of environments, from the open ocean to coastal waters. Understanding the latest advancements in defense technologies is critical in the context of global security. These technologies have significant implications for national security, global stability, competition and cooperation, economic and social impacts, and ethical and moral considerations. As the development and deployment of these technologies continue to evolve, it is essential to stay informed and engaged in the conversation to ensure that these technologies are developed and used responsibly. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out our other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's military strategy and development. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoy this episode. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like and share our video. We will bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.